yellow. So I wanted to change the color of this little entertainment center setter center that I made. This next clip, I'm going to show you kind of the look that I'm going for. I wanted to do a darker finish on the top and uh, paint the bottom metal frames like a goldish color. Um, I got this wood, this piece of wood from Home Depot and um, they cut it for me. And I don't know why it faded right there. The PlayStation made it fade. I'm not sure if that was because of the epoxy or what, but Anyway, these two bottom metal stands I got from, uh, where did I get these from? Um, Goodwill. I got them from Goodwill for a couple bucks each. So right here, I'm just sanding off the epoxy. I didn't stain this wood at all. All I did was sand it down when I bought it and just went straight to the epoxy. So I'm just sanding all that epoxy down to the best of my ability. Some of, as you can see in the middle, it has like that natural wood crack, which I love. And some of the epoxy didn't come up um, from that, but just sanding it down, um, getting it nice and smooth so that the stain really adheres uh, to the wood. I really enjoy doing stuff like this, you guys. It's like just so peaceful and um, yeah, I, I like it a lot. It, I like refurbishing furniture. Um, I flip furniture a lot and uh, sell it on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, uh, things like that. But lately it's just sucked going to the thrift stores because, because everything is just so expensive, you know? Um, and one thing about me, I am frugal. So I, I will not pay for things that are overpriced. No, ma'am. And now that I'm looking back, I really wonder if like the heat from the PlayStation had something to do with um, making the, the wood a different color because that like the, the spot where the entertain, the, I'm going to call it the entertainment center, the spot where it's at, it doesn't get much sun. And it's just so weird that that was the only spot that made it turn colors. I don't know. Anywho. Don't ask me why I didn't wear any eye protection because usually I do. And as you can see, the dusties are flying up in my eyes. Like, girl, do better. All right, so now that it's all sanded and smooth, I just got some hot soapy water and I cleaned this down really really well um, just make sure that you know all those dusties are up and the wood is nice and smooth dry and clean of debris I really tried to get into those cracks as best as I could but you know it is what it is I hate that saying I don't know why I just said that So I'm taking you guys into my little paint station. I thought for sure that I had some stain and polyurethane, but it was a big no-go. Um, I was mad that I had to go to the store and, uh, and get some of that, but it's all good. So initially I was going to go to Walmart and then I was like, no. Let's just go to Home Depot. So I did that and took a look at the wood stains that they had. And remembered that I had to buy wood stain and polyurethane. So I was like, maybe it might be a good idea for me to just get a container that had both. Um, so I definitely did that. I got the small poly stain um, wood stainer. And I believe the color is mahogany, but I'll definitely show you. This gold here is the gold that I went with. It's a metallic gold by Bear. That was really the only nice gold that they had. They had this loud one right here. And I was like, no, no, ma'am. All right. So I cleaned these off and I just set them aside to air dry the, um, the metal stands. So here is the poly stain that I got. It is polyurethane and stain in one. And the color is mahogany. I went in with a, just a foam brush. It's just a, from the dollar store. Um, foam brush and I decided to use that shook it up of course I almost popped the lid without doing that definitely shake it up before you do that um, obviously the uh, paintbrush that I have wasn't going to fit inside the container so I knew I was going to have to pour it on something so I just took a paper plate 
uh, poured it on that and went to town. You want to make sure that you're doing long, even coats um, when working with stain, in um, at least in my experience. Um, you don't. You just want to make sure that you don't uh, stop because it'll get blotchy. Just do long, even strokes. And if you do happen to stop, as long as it's wet, it's it's easy to, um, you know, to to make that stroke or splotch, whatever, even. And in my opinion, I personally like uh, working particularly with foam brushes uh, when working with stain because it it absorbs a lot um, of this of stain a lot more, and you're not having to use a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm just working the edges here. Um, the edges can be kind of tricky because they're jagged and not as smooth. So with the edges, um, you could definitely do what I told you not to do. Um, just like blotch in the edges. Take the, the brush, and I'm going to show you here in a clip. Take the brush and just kind of like blotch in the cracks or edges of the wood and just smooth it out. So right here, um, I'm just showing you what it looks like with the first coat and I really like the way that it looked but I do not like how you can see the um, that spot where the PlayStation was I really dislike that a lot so I'm gonna go in with another coat so I'm showing you here how I'm blotting in the natural crack of the wood just take the foam brush and blot it in the wood and then smooth it out and it'll be perfect it'll it'll come out fine so like I said, I really like the way this color um, came out. Not too dark, not too light, but I don't like that you can still see that spot. So unfortunately, it did start raining, um, but that's okay. I just took the metal frames out into the garage and went ahead and started with my first coat. And then this is me going in with the second coat and flipping them over and giving the top its first layer and I did this several times I repeated this process several times but I didn't want to bore you guys with the same stuff um, I think I ended up doing three coats of the spray paint because obviously they're black and going to a lighter color it's going to need more coats and um, the way that like the framing was it's really intricate so it was kind of hard to get into the the cracks the nooks and crannies um, the first couple of times to get everything evenly coated so here I am going in with the second coat and I definitely started on the left side where the PlayStation was because I wanted to make sure that that side was really penetrated and the stain um, adhered so that it would be even. Um, and that worked out really well. I'm glad that I started on that side. So yeah, just repeating the process, making sure the coats were even. Um, it wasn't perfect. Like you can see that there were still some spots that weren't overly saturated, but that's okay because I like that woody, you know, distress kind of look. Um, it does look a little blotchy here, but it is wet. You, I'll sh put in another clip where it's about 90% dry. I took these out to the porch to get some natural sunlight. This is the final coat that I had and I apologize for the background noise. But yeah, they came out, um, I think they came out really good. And then I've got the wood in the garage and it's about 90% dry here. And yeah, it's even. I feel like you can still see the spot a little bit but it's not as noticeable at all. And unfortunately, it started raining, so I had to move the metal frames back into the garage, and I did separate them. Um, I ended up doing one more light coat on the top, and that was it. All right, guys, it is the next day, and here's how it turned out. I think it came out pretty nice. What do you guys think? Yes, ma'am. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week.